Welcome back to Community Matters. Janelle Bell is a volunteer at the NF Tumor Foundation and is diagnosed with NF. And Janelle, thank you for being here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Wow, where do you start? I mean, let's get, uh, <laughs> let's get your personal story here. I mean, um, did you always have this? With NF, you are basically born with it, mm -hmm. but it may not be as evident at the start. But there were clear signs when I was a child, a baby, that there was something off. Um, I had what's called the cof cafe a lot spots, which just basically mean, looks like a big coffee birthmark. And I had a few tumors. Um, but the doctors back then, that was a lot of years ago, didn't know what it was, or, <clears throat> or at least my doctor didn't. He told my mom, well, as long as they don't grow, don't worry about it. Mm. Uh, but they did grow. Yeah. I was physically behind all the rest of someone my age. I didn't walk until almost my third birthday. Right. And if you can imagine a, having a three-year-old not being able to walk yet, you know, there was a lot of concerns. Sure. And so it, um, it did start progressing, not quickly at that age, but also once you hit puberty, it's something about those hormones makes it, it start increasing. And so there were more tumors. I would have some external tumors taken off occasionally. And I still was always physically behind all the rest of the kids in PE class or whatever. Uh, so, you know, so I got a lot of bullying, a lot of, got made fun of quite a bit, you know, and it would maybe make me not want to do some of the things I would want to do because of having to maybe be up on stage or, or something to that effect. Kids can be very mean. Very mean. Very mean. Very mean. Um, so that, you know, in a way when you live with this, I, I don't want to say it's a disability because it isn't, but mm -hmm. I mean, but it, it does kind of disable you somewhat. It can. It, it can. can definitely. Um, I hope these aren't silly questions, no. but, it, but what's it like? Does it hurt? I mean, uh, I mean, what is your daily life like living with this it, now? It can hurt yeah. if there are tumors that are on a nerve that's getting pressure. I have tumors on my lower spine, and it also can cause scoliosis. So I have the scoliosis and then the tumors, and so there's sometimes back pain because of that. Um, there are people that have them in the brain that could cause severe migraines or on their optic nerve that could cause eyesight issues. My son has NF also, and he had one, has one on his optic nerve. Now it's not really affecting his eyesight that much, but it could, and I know others that it does. Um, as far as how does it affect me day by day, I mean, you know, I've obviously lived with it my whole life. You just have so. to get up and get going, but I think for me, some of it has always been the emotional and psychological side of it too, because you have to deal with how people are receiving you or how they're looking at you when you maybe go out in public. I mean, there are people that have it so much more disfiguring than I do mm -hmm. that, you know, it immobilizes them. They almost have to just hole up and stay at home because they don't want it. They don't dare go out because of what someone may say or do when they're out there. Well, this is where getting the word out is so important, I suppose, Very much. because I suppose can look at it and maybe think it's, it's something other than it's not. Right. How did you uh, get over the challenges that you had, those emotional challenges? I mean, as a child especially and growing up, as you looked ahead and you saw everyone else doing their thing, I mean, what were you thinking? Well, before we knew what it was, it was like, okay, why do I have all this and, and mm -hmm. what is it? And, you know, once I had a name to it, and it really, it was in my early 20s that I read an article, and I said, that's me. That's what I've got. And that's how we finally found out what the name of it was. And at least from that, then it's a matter of, okay, so how do I deal with it? Um, and I think I just was always brought up that it's like, you just got to go do it. You just got to go and, and not let it stop you. And so I really haven't let it stop me that much. I mean, there have been some huge hurdles along the way, but um, I, I just, I can't let it slow me down. Well, I mean, that's, a, I mean, that's, that's an amazing attitude to have. A lot of people do. Mm -hmm. uh, did, did you worry about, uh, you know, your son might have it? Is that something when you were thinking about having a, a family? You have that, about that, a, with NF, you have about a 50-50 chance of passing it on to someone, to your child. Our first son was born and there were no signs. And so we thought, oh, okay, we yeah. made it. We made it through that one. 
um, second sun came along and it was pretty quickly where the cafe a lot spots showed up and I went mm, mm. didn't make it with this one oh. so you know but he's fine he's you know in his mid-20s and working and, and doing great so it's just a matter of you can't let it stop you you just you have to keep going you can't have it stop you no now you 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 were diagnosed well you almost diagnosed yourself it sounds like pretty much so things have changed a lot and uh, so from your perspective why do you mind how have things changed is it simply the awareness not only with the public but physicians as well there's a lot more information now with the doctors although I still run into doctors that have no clue I mean they they oh yeah I've heard about it but you know they don't know anything about it they don't know as much as we would like them to but in the years since we've had our sons and we knew we needed to be more proactive on monitoring him we have found more and more NF clinics along the way getting set up all over the United States so uh, for uh, for folks at home uh, what tips do you have now you have it you've had to live with it mm -hmm. seems like you're doing all right I mean I you, you've, you've got well, you've got your, you know what I mean it could mm -hmm. defeat a lot of people mm -hmm. Uh, what would you say to the folks at home? I think the, what I always want to say is it's, um, as, as we've already said, it's not a disease, it's a condition. You can't catch it. You're not going to get it if you touch me. Um, we aren't freaks or crazy or anything like that. We are just ordinary people just like you. And if you need information about it, if a family member has been diagnosed, then reach out to the foundation to find out the network of people that you can get with to find out where to go to get the help you need. So the one thing that you wish that the public knew about, maybe they're starting to catch on to, one thing that you, if you could tell them, this is, this is what you need to know about NF? That we're just normal people just like you. Yeah. And we are, you know, we can hold normal lives and do just about everything everybody else can. There are some people that, you know, they've suffered a whole lot more. They've maybe even had to have legs amputated or something. So sure, they can't maybe do everything like the rest of us, but you know, we can be a value to the society just like everybody else. No, without question. Janelle, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank, thank you, you for sharing the story. And I learned a lot today. I really did. We'd like to thank all of our guests for joining us and thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about NF or donate to NF Tumor Foundation, visit nftumorfoundation.org. You can visit RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com to view previous episodes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.